In this lesson, we will learn how to use a 74HC5952 to control 8 LEDs. First, let's do the wire connection according to the connection diagram. The wiring is a bit complicated. Please follow our lead and connect the wires step by step. Now, plug the 8 LEDs to the breadboard one by one. For the negative ends of LEDs, each one connects to a 220 ohm resistor. The other end of the resistor connects to the ground row of the breadboard. Lead out the ground of the main board. Plug the 74HC595 into the breadboard. Pin 1 connects to the positive end of LED2. Pin 2 connects to the positive end of LED3. Pin 3 to LED4. Pin 4 to LED5. Pin 5 to LED6. Pin 6 to LED7. Pin 7 to LED8. Pin 10 to the VCC row of the breadboard. Lead out main board 5 volt. Pin 11 to D5. Pin 12 to D4. Pin 14 to D2. Pin 15 to positive end of LED1. Pin 16 to VCC row. Lots of wires in this project. Please be patient to avoid wrong connection. After wire connection is done, let's upload the test program to the board. First, connect your UNO to computer with a USB cable. Firstly, take a look at the sample code. You can see no libraries needed. Now, open Arduino IDE, select the board and COM port. Then, directly copy the program from the supporting file. The pin definition in the program is according to the circuit connection. Paste the program here. Click Verify to check compiling mistakes. The codes are correct. Click Upload to upload the program to the board. Here, LED being on stands for 0. Being off stands for 1. After uploading is done, the first displayed binary number is 0 for number 0. That is, all 8 LEDs being on, so you get 8 zeros. The second binary number displayed is 1 for number 1. That is, LED 1 being off, the rest being on, so you get 1. The third binary number displayed is 10 for number 2. That is, LED 2 being off, the rest being on, so you get 10. The first binary number displayed is 11 for number 3. That is 11 you get. It will display binary numbers of 0 to 255 as a cycle and then repeat the cycle. Test is now complete. Thank you.